I'm gonna be on TV. Okay, I'm actually gonna sit you down on the floor for this because why not? Change the scenery. I'm gonna be on television tomorrow. Well, it's gonna be like last week for you, but I'm gonna vlog it. So basically, I was contacted, well, my agency was contacted by Ireland AM a couple of weeks ago um, to talk about the course I did with my college, the Digital Hustle course. And um, it was a free online influencer course. And like, I just had a talk with it. It was run by my college and like, there was proper lectures on media and marketing. And it was just all about teaching people how to be an influencer, you know? Cause there isn't actually any courses for that. And a lot of people do want to do it. So this was a free thing my college did and it got a lot of media attention. And Ireland AM wanted to have me on to talk about it, but I had already agreed to do an interview with Brendan O'Connor and he's like very, very big, like, you know, RTE Radio 1, like 400,000 listeners, um, very like high up in prestige. But now that I've done that interview, they contacted my agency again because they want to have me on and just talk about influencing. It's for like social media day, which is tomorrow. Um, so yeah, I've got, I'm going to be on Ireland AM. If you don't know what Ireland AM is, it's like Good Morning Britain kind of thing. It's just like a morning talk show kind of thing. And yeah, I only have like a 10 minute slot, but like I am I'm so honored. I'm gonna be on television. Cause I've been on Ireland AM before, like when I was in the Go House, um, they did a thing about the Go House, but I was never in the studio. We did like a live stream from our house, obviously because of COVID and restrictions and stuff, you couldn't have a load of us like in the studio. So only the two lads went in and then it was the rest of us in the house, like live streaming to Ireland AM. But I'm actually gonna be in the studio. I'm gonna get to feel the ambience, gonna get to actually meet them in person. And I have to teach them a TikTok dance. I have to teach him a TikTok dance. I'm gonna cringe out of myself. But it's gonna be fun, but I'm gonna cringe really badly. So yeah, basically the plan is the studio is in Dublin and I live in Carlow, which is an hour away and I have to be there at 7.45 in the morning. So the, obviously there's no trains or anything that's gonna get me there for 7.45 in the morning. So I'm gonna go up and stay in my cousin's house um, this evening in Dublin and then just gonna get a taxi from there because it's only like 15 minutes or something like that. And then from tomorrow, I'm going down to Dunmore East. So I'm gonna get the train all the way down to Dunmore East. And I'm gonna vlog that as well. I'm gonna show you around Dunmore and like, yeah, like, I don't know, it's just gonna be a nice vlog, you know? You guys seem to enjoy vlogs and all my other vlogs I don't do absolute any I don't do anything so this is going to be actually something interesting and I also have my vlog coming up of the weekend where I'm going to no, I'm not going to see the weekend I wish I was going to see the weekend it's not the weekend I'm going to the pilot festival um, in Kilmainham on Saturday ah! Gavin James's headlining is going to be Wild Youth the two Johnnies are emceeing I'm so I'm so blessed I got free tickets to it like I have to kind of like make content about it but like, oh my God, I'm bringing my boyfriend. I'm gonna meet other creators. Ryan and Sean are going, so we might all go for drinks afterwards in that evening. And like, I'm just, I'm, I I can't wait. That's gonna be a really fun vlogs as well. So that'll be out the following week after th this vlog comes out. So stay tuned for that. But basically I have to leave in like approximately, I don't have a watch on, and like, three two and a half hours. And I still have to pack and I still have to pick out what I'm gonna wear. And I, oh. I have to film the TikTok with dance. Okay, oh. Is that dirty underwear on the floor? Oh, it's pajama shorts. They're clean. Can that dog not? Like, could it not? It's not my dog. Like, it's not my dog. Okay, can, please just ignore the barking. I'd really appreciate that. There's absolutely nothing I can do about it unless I run the dog over. And like, I'm all for like animal rights and stuff, so. Okay, I was thinking this dress, cause it's like, it's cute, pretty little thing by the way. Um, hashtag gifted. Um, it's so cute and I haven't had a chance to wear it yet, obviously. And I only got it recently, but like it's so, okay, I'll just try it on. Okay, I love this dress, but I feel like it did a bit too much. Like, in this dress I would be very much prone to a nip slip, like my nipple is right there. And I don't want to do that on like live television to like hundreds of thousands of people. So, we'll bring it as an option, but I don't think this is what I'm going to go with. Again, I feel like this is a little too much, but I look really good. Like, I look really good. Like, this is from Nasty Gal, this is a pretty little thing. 
like I just I'd love to wear this on there but again I think my mother would kill me if I wore this on there and I do want to be slightly more modest being on live television like I could wear this out no problem but it's just like it's TV you know more older people watch it not that I should be dressing for like older people or like caring what older people think but like I should that fucking dog okay I think this is a contender I think this one is uh, I'm really frustrated. I think this one is a contender. I think this one is probably the most appropriate out of them all. Very, who's texting me? I think this one is the most appropriate out of them all. I don't know, I think it's, it's cute, you know, it's flowy, it fits me well, cinches in my waist. But I, I have to consider like, will I be able to do this TikTok dance in this dress? It's that dance and it's like, camel toe fat, you can see from the back now. Eh. Go babish, go babish, go, go. Like, will I flash the camera if I do this, do you think? Okay, this is like top one for the moment. I also love this. The only thing is, is that these jeans have rips in the bum. So, both of these are from Pretty Little Thing, by the way. That last dress I tried on is misguided. But, like, I just love this top. I think it's very mature looking as well. And like, the dance would probably look better in this anyway. They're like, eh, 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 go. Or no, what is it? Oh my god, I forgot it. And I have to do it. On TV. I'll bring it. And we'll see. Okay, I only have an hour and a half now before my dad like picks me up to bring me to Dublin. And I haven't even started packing, so I'm going to start packing now. Um, let's, le uh, let's do a packing transition. Three, two, one. Ta-da! Um, so I literally have 40 minutes. And look at the absolute kip of my room. Look at that. I will cry if I come home to this. So I'm going to have to clean this. Okay, room is finally done. Like, I am just one of those people that just can't leave without having their room clean. Because one thing I hate is coming home to a messy room or just like a dirty room. Like, I just... That actually stresses me out even thinking about it. Okay, so it's about 25 past 12 a.m. And I still haven't gone to sleep. And my auntie who I'm staying with, this is where I am at the moment. I got here at about like seven o'clock and I just had food and like watched TV with my cousins and my auntie and stuff. But she's just informed me that with the rush hour in the morning, what I thought was gonna be a 15 minute drive could possibly be a 45 minute drive. So instead of me having to leave at about half seven, I'm gonna have to leave at seven, which means I'm gonna be having to get up at six o'clock to get ready. I also forgot my toothbrush, so. I'm sorry to the Ireland AM presenters, my breath's gonna smell like shit, but like no one through the TV screen's gonna be able to smell me, so. I've washed my face, I'm about to get ready into bed. I'm just putting on a little bit of tanning spray. This is the vegan tan, medium self tan mist. I can't really tell if I'm gonna be nervous or not. Like I never get nervous for anything anymore. Like never, ever, ever. And like everyone's been asking me like, oh, are you nervous? Like what are you gonna think tomorrow? But like I literally have never gotten nervous for anything since I was about 11. Just because like I did gymnastics at such a young age and I was competing in front of so many people at so young. So I think I've just gone numb to like nervousness. But like I, th I think especially with like these types of interviews and stuff, they all ask the same thing. Whenever I do an interview with anyone, they all ask, how did you start? How do you make money? When did you realize you could make money from it? How much money do you make? How long does it take to make videos? Blah, blah, blah. That they all ask the exact same question. So I've had to repeat like the same answer for a million interviews so many times already. I've also decided that I'm gonna go with the jeans and um, corset because my mother told me to, so. You know, mother knows best. So I'm gonna be wearing jeans with rips in the arse on live television, but you know what? YOLO. I am also just hoping and praying my hay fever doesn't randomly flare up in the morning, because imagine it did. And I'd have to go on set with the puppiest eyes ever. Like there's no makeup you could put on me that would make my eyes look any better. It's 6 a.m. Ah. Uh. I just realised I've only had like four hours sleep. Uh, why am I doing this? I'm not gonna like film my whole thing because I obviously can't really talk so I have to be quiet because I don't want to wake up my cousins or anything. But like I still don't feel nervous. You know like I thought if I was gonna be nervous I would have felt nervous by now. Like maybe I'll feel completely different when I walk into the studio because like I've never been in like 
a proper TV studio or anything like that. So maybe I will be nervous. I think this is the one day my makeup is gonna go badly. And I'm gonna have a breakdown and wipe it all off and have to go with like no makeup or something. Oh, that always happens to me. Okay, I'm just gonna do the rest of this off camera because I can't really talk anyways. So I'm gonna come back when I have my full face done. Ready? Three, two, one. And then, so this was the outfit I went with. And yes, they do have rips in the bum. Look, I'll just cover my arse whenever I stand up. It'll be fine, it'll be fine. So I am at the Virgin Media Studio right now. Here it is up there and everything. And I'm about to walk in, I'm very nervous. Everyone can see me talking to myself. Oh, I did not know they were going to show this on the TV. Oh my. Oh, stop. Actually, I can't. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> I can't. Thank you so much. Throw it to the front or whatever way you want it. That's perfect. Thank, Thank you. you. Yeah, that's perfect. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> it's lovely to meet you as well. Thank you. <laughs> Okay, so I am just finished in there and I'm just walking now. I'm gonna try and get some food and maybe a taxi. There is a car looking at me talking to my fucking self. This is cringy. Why am I doing this to myself? There's all the people looking at me in their cars. Why am I doing this to myself? Um, anyways, yeah, I was only in there for like I had my 10 minute slot and that was kind of it, but like it was an amazing experience. So yeah, I'm so grateful. So this is my breakfast. I need to stop doing this in public because people keep looking at me, talking to myself. Anyways. Good morning. So I didn't vlog when I got here last night because I was just so tired. Like I had been up since 6 o'clock in the morning. I had my makeup on for 16 hours. I had makeup on for 16 hours so I was just not feeling myself but I'm here in Dunmore now and like I'm only kind of here for today and tomorrow morning but then I have to go home and pack everything for Dublin and Ackle which I'm going to at the weekend but I'm just going to show you like like it's just going to be a little vlog so the main part was obviously me going on tv but I just wanted to show you like a little bit of this because it's so pretty here and yeah so this is the bedroom when we were younger my brother would used to sleep in this one but he sleeps in the other room now this is my bed this is my suitcase this is like a little vanity thing, kind of, not really. These teddies are like a good like 40 years old, so I'm not touching them. This is my big ass mirror. And then this is the view outside the window. Oh, open. Oh, there we go, there we go. It's just gorgeous here. So this is what I am wearing today. I just think it makes my like body look really nice. Like it gives me a very nice figure and I really enjoy it. <laughs> So these sleeves just don't stay up, which is quite annoying and I'm really, really afraid I'm gonna nip slip while I'm on my walk, but I'm just gonna have to like hold my boobs while I walk. My skin's actually looking quite good. Um, I don't have any makeup on. Well, I have like mascara and my eyebrows done, but like no face makeup on. I think it looks quite nice. Yeah, so I'm just gonna go for a walk and then I'll show you around the place and like 
SM Aesthetic Clips. last night because uh my mom's like friend and like her kids like came over to our table when we were having drinks so i obviously wasn't gonna like film them you know what i mean like my mom doesn't care but i don't want to film people who like don't want to be involved and also because this drunk the drunkest old man i've ever seen in my entire life came up was making really inappropriate comments to my mother and then really inappropriate comments to my mom's friend's daughter who is like a minor she's 17 you know what i mean and like I had this huge argument with him at the end like basically I had to tell him to fuck off because he was just being very inappropriate like it, it all just kind of kicked off and I wanted to film it but I obviously couldn't like but that happened anyways and then the second I got home from the pub my eyes burst up it was so swollen like I have like a video of what I was like this morning like I mean my eyes were crusted together and that was after me getting up at five o'clock in the morning washing my face like I mean thoroughly washing my face like it was so much worse when I got up at five but I didn't record that then but even when I woke up it, my eyes were literally stuck together with the crust and so puffy <sighs> but yeah this is the end of my vlog of the last couple of days I hope you enjoyed I think it was kind of something different to vlog you know usually my vlogs are just in my bedroom at home or whatever this is something a little bit different and then the next video is also going to be a vlog of the festival and i can't wait it's gonna be so fun except it's supposed to like rain all day tomorrow at the festival but fuck it but yeah that's it for this video i really hope you enjoyed don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already i love you all and i appreciate you all so much i hope you have about the most amazing rest of your day and bye love you all